A historic hall on Arkansas Tech's campus in Russellville going up in flames tonight. An investigation into how this fire started is underway. Good evening, thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. Fox 16's Tyler Thomason joining us live right now from the campus with a look at all the damage. Tyler, what are you seeing this evening? Kevin and Donna, yeah, good evening. We're coming to you live from the campus of Arkansas Tech University in Russellville. As you can see behind me, it's still a very active scene. This is Williamson Hall. It's just behind the football stadium on the campus of Arkansas Tech University. I'm told that the fire started about 4.30 this afternoon, and I'm told that it took about two hours before the firefighters had it completely under control. A lot of winds came through around that time and made it a little difficult to fight this fire. Um, this is a classroom building. You're looking, to, you're looking now at some video uh, of what's left behind. A university official told me, again, the fire appears to have started on the second floor and left behind several gaping holes in the roof and other parts of the building are badly charred after this fire. It's a building that has a lot of history behind it. It's been on campus since 1940. It's used as a classroom building. It was undergoing renovations and no one was inside uh, at the time of the fire, so no one's hurt and it was not even being used as renovations were going on. But I'm told that this was built from funds from President Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal. And so, like I say, it's almost an 80-year-old building. Uh, some of our older alumni remember it as the home of the Department of Music. Uh, the legendary Gene Witherspoon taught music here. And so there's a lot of history in that building and a lot of people uh, with kind of sad hearts tonight to see this damage. So it's a pretty extensive damage as you saw in the video there. And uh, again, the good news here that no one was hurt, but I was told that renovations were going on. Those renovations were making the building a little more accessible. They were adding an elevator inside, but as you might imagine, a lot of that uh, now on the back burner as people, uh, as investigators try to figure out how it started and to now try to fix the damage that's now left behind after the fire. But again, the good news here, no one hurt, no one in the building when the fire broke out. Live in Russellville, Tyler Thompson, Thomas and Fox 16 News, back to you. All right, Tyler, thank you very much. Appreciate the update. Some sad news there. Mm -hmm.